Naam, mara baraka kabisa mpenzi mtazamaji. Kujambo kwa moyo mkujufu na karibisha siku ya pili ya uh, mwaka huu mwaka 2018. E, kumi na nane sipo peke yangu nipo na Steven Mkangai Mkangai ulisema kwamba jana ubashiri wako ah nikwambia unishukuru baadaye hata kwa yafuata <laughs> maagizo wajua nilikuwa nakupa mambo mawili eh. wajua eh. e, kwa mfano nilikwambia timu ya Liverpool eh. itakuwa mechi ngumu patakuwa na mabao mengi lakini to be very safe weka over mm -hmm. over 2.5 kaingiana mm -hmm. the red devils na timu ya Everton mm -hmm. nikasema kwamba Everton mm -hmm. wanaweza kumshinda Mourinho 1x mm -hmm. lakini mm -hmm. weka under 2.5 ikaingiana and ikaingiana eh. mpe Leicester mm -hmm. akamrudu mtu magoli matatu kwa hivyo kama ulisikiza jana eh. hii January utakili unacheka tu na pia leo pia kuna ubashiri usi ndani kabisa eh mkanga pigine radio maisha ni habari hizi ambazo zimezipa kipao mbele leo pigine ah tuangazia masaibu ya timu za Kenya baada ya ufadhili kujiondoa na pia tuangazia taarifa za Masod Juma ambaye ni mfungaji bora katika ligi ya Kenya klabu ya Karubangi Sharks amesaidia Kenya kushinda Sekafa kutafuta posho kwingine tuangalia ratiba ya mechi za leo za kufuzu kwenye michuano michuano ligi ya Uingereza kumradhi mechi kubwa ikiwa kesha Arsenal dhidi ya Chelsea nataka mashabiki wanasemaje uh, na uhamisho wa wachezaji hasa katika ligi ya Kenya wachezaji wana hivi mkangani nikana kwamba umeingia kwa system yangu maana yake hii ratiba yako mbona nikana kwamba umeiba katika na, lakini unajua KTN na Radio Masha ni ni mtoto wa mjomba mtoto wa shangazi <laughs> yani tutashirikiana tutashirikiana ndio no ni manabari wenzangu huyo Steven Mkangai ambaye pia ni eh, na watu fulani wa ni mbaya maana yake yeye afanya makala yake yale ya dozi dozi eh, papa paketi news na radio eh, maisha lakini kwanza kabla ya uchambuzi na pia kufuatilia taarifa kuu tupate kibwanga cha siku Tuko taarifa kuu ambapo mshambulizi wa timu ya taifa Rambe Stars na nguzo muhimu wa klabu cha Karibangi Sharks Masud Juma amejiunga na klabu cha Cape Town City cha ligi ya Afrika Kusini kwa kima kilichobanwa. Klabu hiki cha jiji la Cape Town kiliweka bayana kanatasi hii kupitia kwa mitandao yao ya kijamii. Aidha klabu e, kiliongezea kwamba pili tu atakapopokea cheti e, cha wajiri kutoka Afrika Kusini atajiunga nao Januari tarehe nane. Masud Juma alifunga mabao 17 na klabu cha Karibangi Sharks msimu jana na yamkini klabu cha Albania cha FK Skenderbo pia kilikuwa kina mezi ya mate.
Na, kukine kuna kwa kampuni ya bahati nasibu ya Sport Pesa imetuja ufadhili wake wa michezo yote hapa nchini. Hii ni kufuatia kile walitodai ni asilimia kubwa ya ushuru kutoka kwa serikali ya Kenya. Kampuni hii imefadhili raga shirikisho la soka nchini vilabu vya AFC Leopards na Gor Mahia aidha wanaendelesha ligi ya ndoni nchini miongoni mwa mingine. I think you're all aware that uh, we had challenged the 35% tax on revenue that had been imposed in court, but unfortunately we lost the case. So I just wanted to announce that effective immediately, even though we regret this decision very much, our hands are completely tied. And for us to be able to continue operating as a business, and for us to be able to keep our employees in employment, then we have no choice but cancel all the sponsorships we have as Sportpesa. This will include our partnership with uh, FKF, our support with FKF of the national team coach Paul Put and the technical director, our, part our partnership with the Kenyan Premier League, our partnership with the Kenyan Pre Premier League for the match production with Media Pro and La Liga, our partnership with the Kenya Rugby Union for the National 7s and 15s teams, our Gurmahia partnership, AFC Leopards, Nakuru All Stars, the Kenya National Boxing League, Leonardo Varese, Paul, I can see you here, also will have to cancel that partnership, and the Super 8 Grassroots League football tournament. Na mkuselia papo hapo nukumba vilabu vya gorba hea mbao ni mabingo wa ligi ya humu nchini na AFC Leopards wa shindi wa ngao ya Go TV wamejiondoa kutoka kwa michuano ya barani kutoka na eh, kampuni hiyo ya batu na Siba Sport Pesa kutuja ufadhili wa vilabu hivi vili. Serikali likata kaoli kutoza kampuni za mchezo wa batu na Sibu wa silimia 35 jama mbalo wadao wamesema ni juumno na kwamba faida zao zitaatirika pakubwa. Gor na AFC zimejiondoa kutoka katika michuano hii kutokana na kutokuwa na mfadhili wa kudhamini michuano ya ratba ya barani. Baada kutua ligi kuu ya kandanda humu nchini kwa mara ya 16, klabu ya Gor Maya imedai kwamba huenda haito shiriki raundi ya kwanza ya kombe la mabingwa barani baada mdhamini wao mkuu sport pesa kukata ufadhili wake. Gor inatarajiwa kuchuana na klabu ya Lounds Na mwenye kiti wa klabu hiyo Ambrose Rachiera amedai kwamba klabu hiyo itakuwa na changamoto ya kupata fedha za kuwawezesha kusafiri. We are not able to pay our salaries for the technical bench and the, uh, the players. Uh, two, um, we are not able to undertake um, the campaign for the club champions for Africa, which is due to start uh, early February. So we are really hit. And um, obviously we will, we will uh, have to withdraw from the Continental Tournament and to struggle heavily to play in the league. Klabu ya FC Leopards vile vile inakumbwa na changamoto sawa na Gor Mahia. Klabu hiyo ambao ilituwa ngao ya Go TV inatarajiwa kuchuana na Fosa Juniors mwezi machi. I think we are withdrawing from the CAF assignment. We can't afford to travel all the way from Kenya to another country. And we don't have a sponsor. Our fans can't contribute to the amount which is needed, which is over 10 million per one trip going away and back. So we have to withdraw. Mwenye kiti wa klabu ya Gor Maia, Ambrose Rachiera medai kuamba ukatizwa kufadhili huo utaadhiri vikubwa sekta ya michezo nchini. Gor and uh, FC Leopards will not be having such support. Uh, without mincing words, this is tantamount to killing football in the country. Because one... Uh, it is the uh, clubs that feed the national team. So there will be no football at the national team and there will be no football at the club uh, level. I don't see any uh, club, particularly those other clubs that form the Kenyan Premier League that have been struggling so hard. I don't see any of them really even making it, leave a little gold here, making it to, uh, the, um, to start the league. Rachier na mwenye kiti wa klabu ya FC Dan Mule wamesema kwamba vilabu vyao vitatumia mbinu mbadala kupata fedha. And one of the things we are going to be thinking about is to uh, as you say sell sell bread although we only make about 70,000 shillings per month in selling uh, bread which can hardly pay one uh, one player salaries uh, a month. 
Uh, two, we are thinking about um, floating an idea of uh, a membership drive. Sasa tarudi ile njia yetu ya zamani ya kuomba omba, kufanya maharamu, kitambo tuweze kukaa na kutafuta ama tuwe mbioni kutafuta kama tutapata partners wengine. Hala hizi takuwa vigumu, tume sign players wengi kama kumi kutoka inji za inji. Tumewaidi misharayo, itapatikana kila mweza lakini sasa. Sijui, tutarudi kuwaeleza nini. Kwa upande wake, ligiku ya kandanda inchini KPL, imedai kuamba vilabu vitaadhirika kutokana na kukatizo kwa ufadhili huo. So I think it's, uh, we're going back to the drawing board. As we started as KPL, we started with zero. It means we now have to pull up our socks and see how better we can run the league for the entire season but it's going to affect the clubs it's going to affect the referees the players kampuni ya sport pesa ilikatiza ufadhili wake hii leo baada ya sheria inayotaka kampuni za bahati nasibu kutozwa ada ya 35% kupitishwa robinson okenye ktn michezo Nam, tosalia papo hapo tu kwa ushuru huo wa 35% wanaotozwa eh mama wadau hawa wa mchezo wa michezo ya Bat Nasibu na ni kwamba mwenyekiti wa shirikisho la Ndondi nchini John Kameta amedokeza kwamba ushuru wanaotozwa wadau wa mchezo wa Bahati Nasibu wa 35% ni jumno na itaathiri mashirikisho mbalimbali alisema kwamba kama shirikisho tayari linahisi athari za ushuru huu na kuomba serikali kulegeza kamba political matter that requires political decision uh, the government the current government must have intervened you are witnesses i was suffocating i was almost giving up on boxing i was supporting boxing from my own small pocket no politician nobody came to the aid of boxing until sports pesa came in you've seen the vibrant uh, championship that we've had you are witnesses to Kongoya we filled the Kongoya stadium courtesy of boxing sports pesa now today if you went down to the ground and you talk to the youth of this country it is we are going back to point a frustrations our leaders I've kept quiet. I don't know who brought about this idea of taking this money from the youth because it's not from the sport person. No, the government wants to take the money from the youth of this country. Nam, pesa mta maji kukudumuisha tu katika mitandao ya kijami na kuliza chini ni vuengu o kidogo isi ni angosio. Kisha hiki kidudi ni kitupe uko kando. Na e, kampuni kadhaa za mchezo wa bahati nasibu zimejitosa katika ufadhili wa michezo nchini. Je, asilimia 35 ya ushuru wanayotozwa na serikali ni sawa ama iko juu? Kampuni kadhaa za mchezo wa bahati nasibu nchini zimejitosa katika ufadhili wa michezo hapa nchini. Na nakuuliza basi je, asilimia wanaotozwa asilimia 35 ya ushuru wanaotozwa na serikali hapa nchini? ni sawa ama kama anavyodai ni iko juu kama asili ushuru wa asilimia 35 iko juu sema nami at hasan juma wenzangu ni at s mukangai bila shaka na uh -huh. mm -hmm. abula ambaye leo ako likizo ni at abula ahmed makala kama kawaida pia yako katika hashtag malamareli zilizala viwanjani na kampuni kadhaa za mchezo wa nasibu zimejitosa katika ufadhili wa michezo hapa nchini lakini je asilimia ya 35 ya ushuru wanaotozwa na serikali ya Kenya iko sawa ama iko juu sema nami nitapitia rafa zenu pini tutakavyo nafasika papa hapa studio ninapiga tamala maji lakini narejea baada ya muda usokuwa mrefu kwa hivyo cheze mbali <tune>